Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and I'm studying my PhD in the area of natural products chemistry. So if you saw my vlog last week, you will have noticed that I was not having a very good time and I was feeling a bit down in the dumps because it was a bit of a roller coaster of a week. However, I did say at the end of the vlog that I was going to come back fighting this week and that's exactly what I'm doing and I'm trying to have good positive vibes and just try and make it through the week without getting too stressed or too grumpy. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to talk about my PhD experience and I'm going to let you know what I think are the best parts of my PhD so far. So if you're interested, please keep listening and please let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite part of your PhD is. The first thing I absolutely love about doing a PhD is that you're finding out so many new things and you're just learning so much new information. Personally, I love to learn. I absolutely loved studying my undergraduate degree at university and a PhD is all about learning. Whether that's learning new techniques in the lab or learning new information through research papers or from writing a literature review, you learn, learn, learn all the time during a PhD. I also love how most of the time research topics for PhDs are very specific and they're very niche. So by the time your PhD finishes, you become an expert in that area, which I personally think is very, very cool. I think it will be really nice at the end of my PhD to be able to say, yeah, I know all about anti-fouling natural products and how biofouling works in the marine environment. And yeah, to just say that you're an expert in something after you do your PhD, that's pretty awesome. Another thing about doing a PhD is that in order to get a PhD, you need to contribute new and novel research to the wider research community. So you're essentially doing work that no one else has done before. Honestly, like blows my mind that I'm currently doing research which no one else has done. And when I publish papers and publish my work, it's stuff that no one else has ever done before. <laughs> that might just be me that gets excited about that, but personally, I think that it's awesome to be able to tell my kids and grandchildren in the future that I was once a PhD scientist and I found out X, Y, and Z, and I could maybe show them the papers to show them all my results and stuff. To me, that's pretty exciting. Just so cool to think that even as little PhD students, we're still finding out new things and we're still contributing to this huge world of research and contributing our findings and publishing new information and new results. Okay, so building on the last point, I think it's really cool as a PhD student that you get the opportunity to share your knowledge. So like I said, I'm in my third year of my PhD now, so I'm pretty familiar with my research topic. And to be able to get the opportunity to present my work and present my thoughts about my research topic at conferences and at local seminars is just, it's really great. I also get the opportunity to share my work through writing research papers. So again, sharing research with the wider community. I also like that I've become so familiar with techniques in the lab that now I am experienced enough to be able to share my knowledge with other students in the lab. So that could be new PhD students or maybe students that I'm supervising that have come for an undergraduate project or an Erasmus project. And it's just really, really nice to be able to transfer what I have learned during my PhD to other students who are then in future going to teach other students how to do what I have taught them how to do. I personally really love teaching and would probably like to be a lecturer at some point in the future. So being able to get that experience just now of sharing my knowledge and getting some teaching experience is going to be really beneficial for me later on. Okay, the third thing that I love about doing a PhD is the flexible timetable and schedule. I'm really fortunate that my supervisor allows me to work at my own pace and to my own schedule. So I really enjoy that I can just make up my own timetable as I go along and I can plan my days accordingly to what I want to do and what I know that I need to get done. For example, I'm currently working on an 8 till 4 p.m. kind of schedule, but if I wanted to come in at 10 o'clock in the morning and leave at 5 o'clock or leave at 6 o'clock or leave at eight o'clock at night, I can do that if I want to. Also, if I have an appointment in the afternoon, let's say, or if I have an appointment in the morning, so I can only come to the lab a little bit later on in the morning, that's perfectly okay. And no one is checking up on me to see where I am. This is different from maybe an industrial position where you would usually have fixed times of when you need to be there. And if you're not there at that time, you have a manager saying, well, 
where is Jessica? <laughs> Again, this is quite supervisor dependent, but I'm fortunate that my supervisor does not check up on where I am and just lets me work to my own pace as long as the work gets done. Kind of adding to the last point, so another thing I enjoy about doing a PhD is that you can work independently. I do not hate group work, I do not hate working with other people, don't get me wrong. And there are times where you need to collaborate and you need to ask other people questions and kind of teach people, like, like I said before. But one thing about PhD that I enjoy is getting the opportunity to just work on my own and work according to my own schedule, like I mentioned previously. Again, I'm lucky that my supervisor doesn't give me orders and doesn't tell me what to do and what day I have to do it. So I really enjoy that I can plan my days according to how I want them to go and I can make my own schedule. Yeah, I basically just enjoy making my own plan, coming in, getting the work done and not having to rely on anyone else to get the work done. I just have to rely on myself, which sometimes isn't a good thing if I'm not feeling motivated and productive. <laughs> Another really great thing about doing a PhD, in my opinion, is that no two days are the same. So as you may have gathered by now, I conduct a lab-based PhD, but even though I am based in the lab, that does not mean that I'm in the lab every day, all day. There are some days where I'm sitting at my computer all day and I'm analysing data, or I'm preparing presentations, or I might be reading research papers. There's other days where I do spend all day in the lab. There's some days where I might spend the morning in the lab and the afternoon maybe at a seminar or maybe attending a conference. I also love that we get the opportunity to attend conferences in other parts of the world and traveling to these conferences is funded by my PhD budget which is amazing so I don't have to pay to travel for these conferences. There's other days where I might need to clean the microbiology lab or I might need to collect solvents for us all to use in the lab or dispose of the waste. Other days I might be teaching, I have even given some lectures before in the past and like I said I'm currently supervising students in the lab so I'm often teaching them new techniques techniques or uh, planning their projects with them. Yeah, so I just love that no two days are the same. Even within one day, I could do five different tasks or be in five different places in the same day. And I just love the diversity of it. I think I've realized recently that it's important for me to have a job in the future that is diverse and does not require me to just sit at a computer and, and do the same tasks day in and day out because I do really thrive off of the dynamic work environment and doing lots of different tasks during the week. And finally, the last main point I can think of of why I love my PhD is I love the academic community. Okay, so there's very much two different sides to the academic community, which I'm not gonna get into today, but you've probably heard a lot about the kind of toxic side of academia, but there's also another side to academia. I study at the University of Aberdeen and I also did my undergraduate degree at the University of Aberdeen. And I love the campus. I really respect all of the lecturers in the chemistry department, some of which are actually PIs in my lab and one is actually my supervisor. And the lecturers and the vibe and the just community spirit at the University of Aberdeen was what drew me back to do my PhD. I don't really know how to explain it, but there's just something about being in an academic environment that just feels nice. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't have such a good experience with working in industry before I came to my PhD, but yeah, I just like being in academia and I think that's why I would like to stay in academia when I finish my PhD. Yes, academia in general can be toxic, but there is another side to academia as well, the positive side, the side that people can enjoy and embrace. I don't know, I really don't know how to describe it. There's just something about being on a university campus filled with all these people that are wanting to learn new things and are wanting to do research and make new discoveries. It's just motivating and just a really nice place to be. Okay, I'm going to stop babbling now. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And if you are new here and this is the first video of mine that you've watched, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate it a lot. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.